I will never forget the day I first saw you. You were walking up the stairs as I was heading down. In that moment, I turned around because even then, without knowing you, I felt drawn to you. As if the universe was telling me you were someone I couldn't let slip away. That was the first time I had ever listened to my heart. Though being here with you now, I realize love is not just something you feel. Love is something you do. It's a choice, it's an action, it's a commitment. But even more, it matters why you love, how you love, and how long you choose to love. Jasmine, I love you because of who you are. The intellectual I can bounce ideas with, the nurturer who brings warmth into life, and the hard worker who can overcome any obstacle. I love you for how you've made me a better person. You've challenged me, you've supported me, and trusted in me when I was making life-changing decisions for the both of us. I vow to love you with habit and intention, to love you with patience when times are hard, with passion when times are bliss, and with unwavering dedication in all moments in between. I vow to love you for a lifetime. Today, through this covenant, I give you my heart and my promise to love you, to honor you, and to cherish you with every moment forever. Friends, we are gathered here in the presence of God and in the presence of this company to celebrate the marriage of Jaman and Jasmine. Marriage is the foundation of God's social order and is the building block of a strong family, a strong church, and a strong nation. He ordained marriage from the foundation of the world to be the institution upon which all social life is ordered. And so I say to the two of you that it is not wise for you to enter into this union without fully understanding what God intended. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 for your hearing. If I could speak all the languages of the earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such a faith that I could move mountains, but didn't love others, I would be nothing. If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it, but if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful, or proud, or rude. It does not demand its own way, it is not irritable, and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every single circumstance. knew this day would come since the beginning. When I think about the first time we met, I think about the young man I met seven years ago. You came into my life at a pivotal time when I was climbing and fighting to build a meaningful life. 
a life that I could be proud of. And it wasn't until we crossed paths that fateful evening in September when I suddenly experienced a true soul signal, a calling that I could not shake. I recall that stairwell where we met, painted with the quote, you always miss the shots you don't take. The confidence you brought into my life was transformative and humbling. It was like talking to someone I had known for many lifetimes. And here we were, simply coming back to this place so that we could reconnect as soulmates. It was like I could finally breathe. Since day one, you have shown me the kind of love that knows no harm, the kind of love this world truly needs. Since the beginning, you molded my surroundings, my environment, to where I could simply be me authentically, where I could discover the many things inside myself that were dormant. I learned so much about my own character and potential. So many milestones and accomplishments we have celebrated together. We have come so far and we continue to elevate because of you, I believe in myself. I have a true sense of self that always connects me to the source, to God, my culture, and the ancestors every day. For this reason, I choose you. You have not only been a symbol of strength, fortitude, and honor. You have been a mindful partner. Your ability to lead and protect and give grace has been a full reset and re-energizes the woman that I am today. You have brought healing into my life. And so every day, I will choose you. I am forever grateful to call you my husband. From this moment on with you by my side, I promise to give you the best future I possibly can. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, I promise that you'll never have to face the world alone. I love you to the very end. Today is a special day as Jasmine and Javon are joined in marriage. Cor and I are not losing a daughter, but we're gaining a son-in-law and additional family. There will be ups and downs, but that is where your love and respect for each other applies. Try not to argue over differences. Always, my wife may say that's like the pot caught in a kettle black. As long as you keep God in your prayers and in your life regularly and stay faithful to one another, you will be blessed. May God bless you both and begin your life's journey together. We love you. Dear Jasmine and Javon, as you go on in this journey of life, know that there are things that you have to let go, that there are things that you have to endure, and things that you will misunderstand, but still have to find a way to have hope that it will work out. But there is also joy in knowing that someone loves you and cherish you, someone that you can have fun with, someone that you can grow old with. And when you are running out of excuses why you want to stay with this person, be resolute to turn to God and give it all to Him because it is only in Him that your dad and I find and experience His grace, mercy, and love. Son, the family shares your excitement that you expressed over Jasmine the day that I got the news after you met her the previous day. And Jasmine, my precious daughter, welcome to the family. We are so honored and happy to have you. I am so thankful for both of you and how well Jasmine and Jay, you compliment one another in such a graceful way. Everybody has their own style, and I love the grace that you two have. And Jasmine, Jay, I'm there for you guys, and I'm your. When mom can't be there for you, I have your back. I would treat you, I would treat your daughter like she's my very own. Don't worry, I got her back. Javon, I know you're going to take care of her because I tried my best to set a strong foundation for this very moment. And it's up to you to build from this foundation because this is a, a new chapter in your life. Javon, would you pull up 
place the ring on Jasmine's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I confirm my commitment to you. I confirm my commitment to you. Everything I own belongs to you. Everything I own belongs to you. Everything that I am belongs to you. Everything I am belongs to you. Everything that I will become belongs to you. Everything I will become belongs to you. I make this pledge. I make this pledge. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Holy Spirit. You have pledged your faith to each other before God and these who are present. In view of your stated commitment to each other and considering that you have exchanged rings as tokens of that pledge, I can now affirm that you are husband and wife 